Hi everyone, it's Tammy and we are going to do another card using this Coffee Cafe stamp set that I absolutely love from Stampin' Up. This is new in the annual catalog and you can get that along with the die cuts and in a bundle price for 10% less than if you bought them separately. And I have been really having fun with this stamp set. It is super easy to make things because everything is ready for you. It has, like you can do a latte, a frappuccino, a hot chocolate, a coffee, a whatever your heart's desire you can do with just these two little things. It's so cute. But they've even made it more enticing with the cute designer series paper that they have. They have made really cute designer series paper to match this set. And I just really like it. So I am using some designer series paper today along with my dies. And I don't even know if I'm going to be doing any stamping on this card. I think I'll use a stamp for the sentiment. But other than that, I think that we are going to be good with using um, a piece of early espresso cardstock that I have cut and scored to make an A2 sized card. And then I have a piece of designer series paper here. And I have a piece of Whisper White here and another piece of Whisper White. And the reason I have two Whisper Whites cut is one is for the inside. So like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. Just, well that is totally crooked. Holy cow. I don't know if I'm getting it off. It's just going to have to be crooked. Oh well. <laughs> Crafting in real life. I think I've said that with every card this series. Because something is happening. And then I'm going to take this and put it here. And then I'm going to take this. <laughs> and put it here. So these are cut each a quarter of an inch smaller. So the base is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. The Whisper White is cut at four by five and a quarter. And the Designer Series Paper is cut by three and three quarters by five. And then I also have this piece of Designer Series Paper. And what we're going to do with this is we are going to use our dies and we are going to actually die cut out this coffee cup and this coffee cup. I think that's amazing how they did that. And I haven't noticed it in previous catalogs, so I'm not sure if this is the only catalog that they started this with or if I just didn't know. But this isn't the only paper that you can do that with. The birthday delivery, um, lots of the designer series paper, well, at least some of the designer series paper, has it so that you can do this, where you can, the designer series paper is made with a die to fit it. So you don't have to color these, you don't have to do anything, just cut it and go. So it makes it super simple to make some really easy, nice, quick, fast, beautiful cards. And I'm just trying to get this straight on here. And put this on top. Wiggle it through. And then just go backwards. You don't have to go backwards. One time is enough to cut it, but I often will go backwards, especially if I only have one thing that I'm cutting. Sometimes if you have more than one thing that you're cutting and you try to go backwards, it will actually move the metal and you'll end up with a mess. So be cautious if you do that. I, I do do it often, but if I have more than one, I try not to. I just moved that one myself. And sometimes these are stuck so hard onto the cardboard backing that they have. You need to be really careful because the glue will actually, their sticky stuff will actually stick to the die and it will move the die if you don't, if you're not careful. So just be aware of that. If I, I always stick these on magnets, or at least I always try to stick these on magnets like this. And if I have extra glue on here, like this one did, I try really hard to get this off because if you don't, you can accidentally move your die or your die will stick to the top of your uh, big shot and it's a mess. So I'm going to take these two. Isn't that just adorable? 
and I'm gonna take some ribbon. I guess I could have put the ribbon down first. I have this ribbon, it is Stampin' Up! ribbon. I'm honestly not sure if it is still in the book or not. I got this off of a gift and I'm just using it because it was handy. And I should have put this down first. Ooh, but I can get it up, good, okay. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I'm just going to make a line. Put that down. Go to this side. Put that down. Make sure it's semi-straight at least. And then I'm going to put some glue over those so that I know it's straight. Just like that. <coughs> and I'm going to tie this in a little bow. I'm trying to decide if I can do a bow on this end that's kind of crummy looking. But if I'm just going to make it into a bow, sometimes it gets crummy looking anyway. It's just crummy because it was tied in a bow previously. There we go, I think that's cute. That's a good looking bow. So I'm going to try to make the ends the same. And I'm going to actually use some glue to glue this down. Like that. I don't always use bows because sometimes they make the card too thick, but I do like them. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put these down with dimension, with a little bit of dimension. Since I have the bow already making some dimension, why not? Oops, it's stuck to my finger. Do, 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 do. Let's put that in there and him there. Oh my goodness, just like that, it's adorable. And seriously, I think the card could be finished. I was gonna put another and you know what, I'm not sure which color that green is in the designer series paper. So what I'm gonna do is look on my designer series paper, the cardboard that comes with it. And on the back of the cardboard, it always shows, tells you what colors are on it. And it's garden green. So I'm gonna use my garden green so that I know that it matches this. And I'm going to use this stamp that says, happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. Stamp that. And then just put it right down here. And I think that this would actually fit into the coffee cup if I wanted to die cut it out from the coffee cup, but I don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to rectangular cut the whisper white and go that route. Oops. Going the wrong way. There we go. Just take out my stamp and trimmer. And 
I'm just trimming that around all edges. Oh, that is too cute. Yes, indeedy. And there we go. There is card number three of the card series. I hope that you guys see how easy it is to work with this stamp set. And if you guys are interested, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I would love to be your demonstrator. If you already have a demonstrator, please, please, please go through them. But if not, my store is open 24-7 and the link is down below. It's ttscraps.stampinup.net. And like I said, I'd love to be your demonstrator. So thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.